Well, welcome to my little unboxing video of the GWF A1000C1AER. And if that lot isn't a mouthful, nothing is. Now, this was sold as new, but I'm not convinced that that box is new. It came from Chisholm Hunter. I have opened the box already and I have worn the watch and it is a really nice watch. Two things I will just also mention. I have resized it myself. Um, they were supposed to offer a free resizing but uh, that never materialised but it was super easy to do. On here you have books and papers, instruction guaranteed, cleaned and polished. Now, on the website, it actually says new. But if it's new, why would it need cleaning and polishing? Resize not applicable. Images recorded for your protection. I just wanted to just show that. And this box looks very used, it has to be said. This, uh, this is not a new box. There's tears there, there's tears there, wear and tear there. There's clear wear and tear on the side there. But anyway, we paid a bit of an arm and a leg um, for this one. So it's just a little bit disappointing that it's advertised as new. And, you know, the box looks like, uh, looks like my dog's been playing with it. Anyway. Enough of that nonsense. Even the inside of the box looks well worn. G Shock Frogman. That's the card. The usual paperwork, all of this looks in good shape. It's usual paperwork which we just ignore, which just gives a few pieces of information in that. So we'll put all of the paperwork in there out of the way. Box looks in good condition. Went a bit mad with this one, I must admit. I. Uh, I saw this advertised and I thought, yeah, I kind of got to get this one. <laughs> it was a bit naughty, really. But never mind. Let's get the top off and we'll have a look inside. I have to say, look at that. That does look really nice. I have to say that actually looks better on camera than it does than it does in real life. Look at that. Date window exactly the same place. I doubt a G Shock took the idea from Blancpain, but it is certainly an interesting design feature. I will of course at some point have to do a video comparing the frogman with the old mudmaster if you've got this far in the video and you'd like a comparison video between these two which actually isn't as daft as it appears put a comment below so i know you've got this far let's carry on with the unboxing of this Another thing, it has this tag on it and not a G-Shock tag on it. And of course, there was just some plastic wrapper stuff around there, which is not the usual G-Shock little baggie that it came in. But I think it is brand new. It is sold as brand new. And I had a quick lows over it and it, it certainly looks brand new. 
Now it won't open, there's a security tab here, you have to push in here to open it up. Now I put this on here just to, like I said, I have worn this. If you're into camping and hiking, check out my other channel, Tony Hobbs. We do a lot of hiking and camping as you would notice, but that certainly look, I just, I love the blue. The stupid thing is I hadn't really noticed that it was blue, which is crazy, isn't it? I'm not going to do a tutorial on this in this video. I'll save that for another time. But basically, you have a calendar function Monday through to Friday. The days of the week are easier to read on my Rubik's Cube. <laughs> it's in reverse, isn't it? This one you've got Sunday to Saturday. And that one you've got Sunday to Saturday, but in reverse. But you basically have the calendar function, you have the tide features, and you can see that uh, locally it's high tide. You have a stopwatch, timer, an alarm, and that's it. And if you do a long press on that one, you have a dive function. So if you wanna go diving, you can take this one diving and it counts underwater. And then when you come to the surface, it counts surface time and underwater time. This is so fun, I love this. Surface time. Underwater time. Very clever, very interesting. It's an interesting watch, I have to say. It's an interesting watch. And then when you finish your diving, long press, bottom left. Connect it to the G-Shock app to see the dive times. Brings you back to your time. And then basically you have your time, your 24 hour time up there. It's remote control, solar power. Really, really nice watch. It's a chunky watch. Like I said, I will do another video on it in the future. You do use an app as well. The only thing is it will count your dive time up to two hours and it will count your surface time up to 24 hours, but there is no depth gauge on it, none. There's no, no depth gauge here at all, and no depth gauge on the app either. And that, I have to say, is a little bit disappointing. You know, even if it had been on the app only, kind of just would have been interesting to have a bit of a practice and play with chucking it in the pond or something, but no depth gauge on it, which is very strange given it's a frogman. Anyway, I will do another more detailed walk around looking at it in the future if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe share hit the notification button to all and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching